I would like to think that I'm prepared for Yoimiya. I'm going to pull on her because she seems very good and it was very nice what Mahoyo let us do by having us be able to test out the character before her banner comes out so that like we could we could save up Mora and books and stuff for the character ahead of time we'd like to. I did that. I have 275 of these, 252 of these. I, that should definitely be enough to get her to 80. I don't think she'll be able to get to 90 with that, but I have uh, 50 of, of these pyro hypostasis things because it, what else would she possibly use? Um, it's I doubt she's going to use these things because if she used these things, why would they make this? She's obviously going to use one of these and I have 12 dream solvents. So I can turn as many of these into whatever else they need to be, if, if I need to. I have a, enough ascension stuff. I have over 4.5 million Mora, so even if I wanted to triple crown her, I would be able to do that. Although I don't know what talent book- I know I could look at leaks and find out which talent book she uses, but I don't know which ones she uses, and that's fine, because I'll just probably use maybe some fragile resin on the first day her talent books go live, so at least I might be able to get her up to 666 talents. And I- I mean, I have a, a decent amount of the stuff. I- I don't think she'll use- where's the- the elegance ones? Where's the elegance ones? I don't know. I don't think she'll use- which Whichever ones Ayaka uses, because Ayaka already uses them and they wouldn't make another character that uses the same ones. So I'm assuming she either uses the light ones or the transients ones. Right now I'm hoping she uses the transients because that's just what I have the most of. But it makes more sense if she would use the light because fireworks and li light and fireworks are like similar. I'm planning to use the craftable bow on her, but I don't know how to get that. I don't think you can get it yet, but I have everything else I would need. I again, I might be a little short on those, but I still have like two weeks to farm up those and I'll check the time actually. And in checking the time, I'll be able to see how many summons. Yeah, I have 70 summons and I have 10 pity. As you can see, I'm I have a guaranteed Yoimiya. That's why I'm farming up all of this stuff. I wouldn't be doing that if I didn't have a guaranteed Yoimiya and I was like betting on a 50-50 or something, but I have 10 pity here and, you know, 71 pulls technically. I also have, I mean that it yes that isn't enough for guaranteed Yoimiya, but I also have of 17 fates worth of star glitter. So I do have a guaranteed Yoimiya. Um, there's, I don't know what else I would use. Maybe this? What does this do? Yeah, I could, I could, I could maybe do that one, but, uh, based on her kit with her, um, what is it? Her, her E that basically is Hu Tao's E, but without the, um, HP loss, you might be able to use this. It, it I think it lasts for like 10 seconds, but this could be okay. I don't know what else I would possibly use. I guess I could also use Rust, but I only have one of those currently, and that's on my Tartalia. I could use the Battle Pass bow, I suppose, but I'm going to use- I'm, I'm planning on using the uh, craftable bow because I, I have a, a solid amount of those- solid amount of the prototypes for those. Yeah, I have I have four bow prototypes, so I, sh I should be able to craft as many of those as I need to. I don't see why I would need to R5 it. I, it seems pretty good already at R0, I mean R1, so. I just think she's gonna be a really good character based on what we saw in the demo. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, it's in her story quest. When you're able to play as her, they give you a chance to play as her in, in her story quest, and it's really cool because you get to check out her kit before she releases. Uh, none of Constellation seem particularly interesting. By that I mean Constellation 1 because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to go for anything else. So my plan is that if I get her early, I would go for the bow for her because you know, five-star bow is pretty cool. It is specifically her bow, but I don't want to have to bet on that new craftable bow in case it's not released by that point. But I've had some pretty crazy luck on the weapon banner. I'll, I can go through my history here in the weapon banner, and uh, I will be able to set that epitomized path thing, but I don't think that's going to help me very much. That's really only for whales, which is very good for whales, but as you can see, I got a Song of Broken Pines, and then, not too far behind that, I got a Homa. And I got that very fast, I'm pretty sure. Like, not all the way into pity, I don't know how many I've done of these. Yeah, 
yeah, it was only four pages, so like 40 into pity, I got uh, Homa, and then after that, a little bit, I got Song of Broken Pines. So, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to Yoimiya. I don't know what to release for a video, so this is going to be it. Hope you guys are enjoying this video, and I don't know what I'm gonna do next, because it's, it's, everything's pretty laggy. I don't know if you can tell, but it's hard to do any combat-oriented stuff. Other than that, that's it. Goodbye.